blessings. You're watching Violetify. And I'm wishing that everyone has had an enjoyable solstice, or I have had a very enjoyable solstice. And um, excuse all the background noises. I have a family. I have a life. I'd like to share with you some little gifts I got from my high priest this summer solstice. I got one of our coven chalices. This, it's like it's been dipped in sterling silver. And I'm kind of sentimental like that. So I wanted to keep it because this is one of his personal chalices that we've used for ritual. And I got this sister set, The Hidden Path. And um, I'm just starting to explore its two decks. And let's see, a traveler's guide to the well worn path. It's real paganish, you know, just it's very dear, very pagan, you know with the will of the year and everything. And then this is the seeker's guide to the hidden path. And yeah. So bountiful blessings. And I'm going to um, try to get more focused, making more videos and sharing more. I know I kind of am like an ostrich who sticks her head in a hole. It's just, you know, I, I don't like all the drama and just some of the things that have happened to some of our sisters out there and the YouTube uh, witch community that seems very unspiritual, very, uh, you know, when I come on here, I want to have a good time. You know, I, I don't like all the drama and uh I, I hate name dropping. Everybody knows that I hate name dropping. You know, these people, I, I understand they need to be exposed. And I, I like a more sacred, more secret approach to that in, in respect to our whole community as a whole, because there's so many young people, you know, exploring and interested in coming into the craft, you know, and, um, any of us who have experienced a Christian background, you know, especially us elders that are, you know, I'm starting to consider myself um, approaching the elder phase of my witchhood. And, you know, I want to be a, a good example on the young people, you know, in representing our spirituality, our witchhood, our sisterhood, our covenhood, our community our titles as a whole. So, um, yeah, I like, I like to see, um, kinship and, uh, us embracing and supporting each other, you know, and if a sister is one that must be outcasted, I feel that, uh, we can outcast her in a more appropriate way and be more quiet about it, you know, maybe private message people if we're concerned that they're going to fall into a, a web of deceit by, you know, certain ones, you know. Um, but I do, no matter what anyone has said or done in gossip in this community, I feel that, you know, they too have the right to begin again you know, all new people, whatever, but you know, there's only so much we can do, but to dramatize it all. And, 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 you know, there's so many new young witches coming into the community and, you know, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to, you know, disappoint because disappointments can really hurt people. You know, I don't want to disappoint them. I mean, we're a growing community. That's what I want to see is a growing community. You know, and I'm very blessed to be a part of Coven here locally in my community. I know what it was like to be solitary. Some people prefer to be solitary. 
but um, you know, I I enjoy solitary practices. I am still solitary, even though I work with a coven and a group, and um, I socialize in my community. So, you know, let's just embrace these young people and embrace the baby witches coming in, you know, um, and just kind of keep all the gossip a little more on the down low. If you have a problem or an issue, private message. If you have a problem or an issue with me, private message me. Um, you know, there's certain rules that are there to guard our sacredness our respect. I mean, you never know. We feel free now, but it doesn't mean burning times can't happen again. You know, if we give ourselves a monstrous reputation, monstrous things can happen to us. You know, coven gatherings can be gunned down or something, you know? So let's have respect, sisters. Love and dark blessings.